said no it's amina london i need to defraud like this girl just started her business let me just go and steal hundreds of pounds from her how much profit has your sister made but there are people are wicked the way you wake up every morning to grind to do your nine to five to do your school that's the way some people wake up to steal your money so be careful <laughs> Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie and I'm a London based content creator. I make videos in fashion, travel, London living and lifestyle. So if that's something you enjoy, please subscribe and click the bell right beside it if you haven't. If you're a returning subscriber, you already know the drill. I love you guys so much. Thanks for being part of my drive, supporting me and every good stuff. So before we go into the topic of this video, I just want to tell you about this dress. So this dress is made by a designer. I'll put on the bottom of the screen right now. I'll also put a link to their Instagram where you can contact them and shop their pieces in the description box so they sent this to me from lagos i think i just sent my waist measurements and my length or something and this came looking so beautiful i love the fabric a lot it's 100 ankara cotton the sheep dress very free so everyone of us feel that very conscious of when you eat and so this is just the perfect dress the length is also really good um something happened to me recently and i thought there were some lessons to be learned and it'd be good to share with you guys so we're going to be talking about that story right now in this video please grab your drinks tea juice wine coffee whatever it is you drink or even water you know let's do this together mm -hmm. i got my phone here because i need to know the dates so i'll be very precise with this story so um i don't know if you know but i have a business i launched my business Anmina london in june first of june precisely so before then i already set up like my instagram just done some groundwork just so that as i'm launching shopping is starting so yes i did all that between i think i bought the platform like december here yeah, because i just renewed this because i remember the retailer telling me hurry up and pay before chinese new year starts i'll be mean, before they go new year and then i paid i think they even shipped before the new year and then covid traces of covid just started coming so luckily my stuff was already on the way and it all came i think february like middle of february everything came to the uk i shall have to clear everything 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 thing. and then i wasn't sure i was very shy i wasn't certain if to launch the brand so i think i just gingered myself shy in the middle of covid one day i just sat down made an ig story i'll probably put the link in the description box i just put in the highlights and just introduced the brand just told people i was starting and why i thought you should support me blah 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 blah, blah. So obviously because i'm a content creator already it wasn't difficult to at least get sales that first weeks first set of weeks it wasn't that difficult and a lot of people were just so nice so like you guys trust me i don't even forget if you're one of you that really pushed and helped me you know that beginning time even till now to be honest i would never forget you like i literally pray for you every time so yeah that's how i shall launch and everything sales everything was going um i would say 65 or 70 percent of my sales were actually coming from the united states apparently those girls there or guys there are actually more generous than people in the uk and obviously nigeria because what i sell is lux african accessories selling that in nigeria is not really especially if you're not, if you're not based there they wouldn't come to the uk to buy it and my target market was really never the african market it was africans outside africa and then other people as well you know because i just wanted a situation where people actually think of ankara pieces to accessorize their their lovely outfits like new year's outfits party outfit like you're wearing proper english contemporary wear and then you're thinking african you get that was the whole aim of everything that's basically how i launched amina london named after queen amina of zazai there's this page on my instagram that explains about queen amina and how she was strong and everything and why i really loved her and thought she was a good fit for the brand so yeah june came we sold july came we sold august came we sold so there's this particular sale in august there were quite a, no a number of sales that i wouldn't forget because of how heavy they were how i had to go and take all the items to go and post and it was going all the way to america you know normally i put i think i before right now it's like maybe 21.99 or something for shipping but before it was even 15. at some point real made change their price and i started changing this to like 19.99 but then again there are sometimes people who order things in america especially and you go like 23 but i'll just leave it you get it's good i just start i'll just leave it because at the same time some people just order one piece and that 20 or 19 was just fine so i just left like, so i remember this particular order they're like three bags the grace the grace people were not even buying the grace in the beginning of things the grace is the biggest piece you know the grace too is comes in green and comes in um orange so people are not really buying but this person bought one grace and then 
I think it's Zena, but like three bags, three or four bags. I remember just taking this thing and wrapping it. I literally had to get a bigger type of bag for that. I already had the bag, Shabo. I had to use it for the first time for that particular order. And obviously, any order that comes, as I tell you guys, I actually pray for my customers. I even have a blog post on how to pray for your customers. I'll put it in the description box as well. It's one of the uh, most read blog posts from... Okay, I think it was just December, this is November, I don't know, I shall know when Google sends me, whatever, that post was at the top, a lot of people read it, so it's something I take personally, guys, it's something I don't joke with, so if you're someone who supports me, trust me, I really love and appreciate you, I'm tired of saying that, anyway, so this order came, when I was like, ah, oh my, it's like, this person is buying for her cousins and everything, you know, ah, we thank you, Lord, I shall posted it, August passed, September came, went, in october precisely on the 9th of october 2020 i was sleeping normally when i sleep early i tend to wake up early so i woke up like let's say 3 a.m looked at my phone as usual my emails first usually i look at my notifications and then go straight into the emails so i went to the emails because there was no important notification what did i see you know, a charge back was open for your order which one is charge back like i've never ever heard anything like charge back as a shopify what have i done to you guys i said let's read because charge back did not sound like something romantic in any way moreover who dashes who money <laughs> anywho i now went it's now said a customer opened a charge back for your order put the order number the customer told their bank that they did not receive the product that they ordered the bank has refunded triple digits guys in great british pounds they have refunded i was like okay ah, what a generous bank to the customer and charged you a 10 pound fee for this charge back i now knew this was trash it was a problem then i said charge backs are frustrating experience i say yes even reading this is frustrating we will do everything we can to help you get your money back this is shopify assuring me giving me assurance I give my baby assurance I give my baby lifetime insurance yeah. <laughs> Anywho, then I said We have collected evidence that will automatically be sent to the customer's bank by October 4th So they'll give me about 3 weeks, which is quite nice Or 2 weeks, sorry At 2020, 11 p.m. Then you can submit any evidence up to that date they now had the buttons that said submit response and it says there are three ways to resolve a chargeback first add additional ref evidence that might help your case and review what we collected from you before you submitted the customer's bank the second one contact the customer to resolve the issue with them directly the third one if you agree you know i didn't read this part even now i'm reading this thing the third one if you agree that the chargeback is justified accept the chargeback and the fees you know the chargeback summary for the other baba know the person's name <laughs> Hey, let's just leave the name. Reason the product not received. Chat back. They said the amount of fee. They said they already now added everything. And I said, find out about chat back about, about Shopify. So guys, obviously I was really pain and everything. I was like, nah, what 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 is this? I said, okay, cool. Sometimes when I well, immediately I place immediately I post an order, I get the receipt and update it on Shopify. It gets to them within 24 or 48 hours. If you've ever ordered and it wasn't like a Sunday, you would have gotten your. It's not some Sundays I even post. You know that you've gotten your um tracking and everything within 28 to 48 hours max so i've done that you know but obviously as humans sometimes you can make a mistake so i know uh, just like god please let's not be one of the ones i made a mistake while writing the tracking i just went straight to the other because they gave me the other number click the tracking ah, ah. I saw all the evidence, like, they told me when he left the UK, they told me when he landed America, they told me when he went to that particular city, when he went to their house, how the receptionist collected it, how they, as in, I had all the stages in this uh, report, I'm like, did these people even check this, why are they now coming to ask me? The shard just said, okay, has person ordered before, I think the form the Shopify now sent me just to help me, has person ordered before, I think that could help, just to show it's not like a card, I don't know what that was, the person has had not ordered before, so I said no, then they just sent me evidence, what did I send the person when they ordered, I sent everything, all the emails that my Shopify sent, everything was still there, I sent, wrote, um, screenshot, said it, yeah, it was screenshot because I had to upload and then I just started the tracking as well. I'm like, they did not wrote extra notes. I think they asked for something else, invoice. I just said everything. And then I said extra notes. I'm like, if someone orders something in August, ideally, America's order, like bad as a bad, 12 days, it will get to them. 
you should have come to you ordered in august you left august to left september october you know it's gonna complain to your bank you didn't even come to me so clearly this person intentionally did this like it's not fair like you saw all the big brands out there you just said no it's i'm in london i need to defraud like this girl just started her business let me just go and steal hundreds of pounds from her like what kind of evil is that I just left that one. I, me, I, it's even now, and I'm seeing they say you can contact customer. Even if I read this thing, I won't contact any customer because if you have a problem with an order, you will meet the seller and ask the person how far with my order. Then two of us will track it together. Jiggers. So clearly, this person had ulterior motives for me. Like, seriously, how much profit has your sister made that you're trying to? This was still. Okay, June, July. Oh, okay, by God's grace, you had already even started breaking even by then. But why if and the thing I didn't even notice <laughs> anyway, let's just finish. So I just said all these things. Then let me now tell you when I didn't even tell her, I didn't tell everybody because you know when something is so negative, you don't want anybody to be following you to carry that pain. And it's as if it was something that heavy that I was about to die. So I just kept quiet about it and just trusted Shopify will sort me out. So the next um, email I got was on the 25th of obviously they told me 24 that time. So as I 25th, they came back and said a chat back response for order blah 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 was submitted. Then yeah, they said we will let you know when the bank reaches a decision for this chat back. This process can take up to 75 days. I was like, whatever, pushed it back. You know how I always try to control my reality. Like something crazy might be happening, but I will just as if it's not happening, just so that it doesn't affect other things I'm doing. I just push this thing to the back of my mind and just proceeded in life as if nothing was happening. I didn't even say it anywhere, didn't tell anybody. <laughs> they now gave me the, the, the person's name again, product not received, chat back amount, chat back fee, and then the total that was going to be, um, I don't know, whatever they thought they were going to do. Next time I heard from these people, you can see I'm scrolling up now, your charge back. <laughs> this was Saturday. <laughs> so this is just a few days later. So imagine if I was using this one to bug my head. So for the next two months, when people were turning up dirty December, I'll be thinking about one mad person who is charging me back and speaking English that I did not know that negative. Anywho, I just saw the email. A charge back for your order dish dish was resolved in your favor. <laughs> I said, my God is a good God because God knows I put energy. God knows I do the right thing. Heaven, nature, whatever I try to control, anything that happens in this world knows like I do the right thing. And then what I don't even know this person, what even happens. But anyway, they said the customer's bank reviewed the chat back response and has sided with you. That's the person's bank. I don't even know which bank is. Anyway, HSBC does that. If I make a payment and I say maybe I was supposed to do it just once and maybe I did it twice, they would actually withdraw, <laughs> retract the whole transaction and then tell, okay, they'll tell you to contact. They share a process they have to do this. I understand why this bank actually listened to this customer and they said, um, the so 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 will be refunded in your next. Yeah, guys. I did not know that this money was even taken. I think the way my sales went in the beginning, thanks to you guys who support me and thanks to God and thanks to everything, I was just having sales. Like, and normally with Shopify, when you um, make sales, they just take the VAT and then like three days or four days they pay you. So I didn't even notice <laughs> three digit uh, sales had left, had left. I think they obviously subtracted it when you can't even notice it had gone. So this one told me the money was coming and you guys when i received this thing i think i was kind of low on cash see how happy i was i like well this person got to help me save money but then again guys imagine if you were not maybe you were someone that was struggling maybe this was even your highest sale so do you know what pounds is in naira you just multiply whatever pounds by 630 then you know the naira value in dollars multiply by i don't even know what the probably put on the screen and you know the amount that someone is trying to defraud a small business that was barely three months of like why evils like why are you guys wicked why do you sit down I Anywho, the money shot now came back in two days. This Saturday, I think money came on Tuesday. Today is Saturday again. So this was last Saturday. Okay, the money came back on Tuesday and like immediately I just started like selling things. But it just got me thinking. Like you guys, if you're a seller, if you're intent selling, whenever you sell, you're sometimes some customers be selling you, this is just how much. Why will I pay this for tracking? If you if you want them to pay lower, make sure you pay that tracking service. It is for your own good. It is not for the customer's good. The customer will never tell you, I don't care when it comes. I've had that kind of conversation before. I don't care when it comes. I can't pay this and I'm spending this on how much is trackable? Highest five pounds. You get make yourself okay. Well, if it's domestic, if it's like international, just charge them twenty. You see that twenty three pounds, fifteen pounds if it's Europe. You know, make if you can't charge them, 
should do it for yourself because you will lose your whole self. If push comes to shove, if any issues happen, it will be you. Outside that, because you are a human being and you could input the wrong tracking number, keep your receipts. Normally, I keep my receipts three months. So when this thing even happened, I was like, I've died won't have the receipts because this was in December. I got this and then it still happened in August. So I didn't even come to my receipt booklet to check whether the receipt was there. I just went straight on what I wrote. Luckily, what I wrote was correct, so I didn't need to send them. But maybe I still even found the receipt and still. But I don't think I did that because just um, screen grabbing the process of the of the delivery to that same address is already enough. Which I don't deserve. But I would just advise you keep your receipts for five months. Not like it for three months, but now I said keeping it for five months because I don't even know the evils that I don't know which bank will be listening to someone that bought something two months ago, saying they did not receive it in the next one, and then they are still telling the person that yes you, you you were good for sitting down like who even does that you know then again i guess in developed countries that's what happens like they kind of protect the buyers a lot but there are people that are wicked guys so the way you wake up every morning to grind to do your nine to five to do your school that's the way some people wake up to steal your money so be careful so yeah guys that's the end of this story see i didn't even drink this thing so because the the thing was just pain this person i'm actually really talking about it it wasn't when the money came and i started telling her did you know this song tries to do this as we were just weak, but I didn't want to start sharing the pain because sometimes when you give people your pain, it's as if you're even carrying the pain that they're carrying. So sometimes just keep things to yourself. But yeah, that's what happens and everything. So yeah, guys, if you wish to support Amina London, please go on the description box as well. I'll put a link. I'm, I'm releasing some new mini bags very soon. I will tell you that. I haven't really announced it well. And then some neck scarves and like wrist scarves and back scarves as well. Just something cute um just for the brand yeah so, so far so good i can't even complain as i always say if you ever bought for me i constantly pray for you you know some people even buy they will not even make video again like oh my god you know yourselves like i really really appreciate and yeah seriously because it's not like i'm selling oxygen or water or something that people can can not do without do you get so for you to actually sit down and say okay this person i want so i want to um support it's so touching to me and i appreciate it so so much thank you so much guys i know i'm now going off points let me find i drink something <laughs> let's drink together yeah this is my favorite drink guys and in christmas usually 12 pounds now it's 22 back to 22 <laughs> in December, it's open. i know i didn't buy three or four now i went back to shop again as that is now back to 22 pounds Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed, please do click the bell right beside the subscribe button as well. If you have any crazy stories of, um, you know, being a seller or just doing business and everything, please share in the comment section. I'll see you in the next episode, guys. Bye-bye.